Hello everyone, I'm Bowen, and I'm glad to introduce our work. New mod, a modular haptic device with localized pressure and thermal feedback. This work was done with Professor Misha Sra at Perceptual Engineering Lab at UC Santa Barbara. Touch is a fundamental aspect of our ability to perceive and navigate in the real world. It is also a vital method for communicating emotions. We have recently seen an increase in the need for social interaction over video conferencing or virtual reality. Haptic feedback device can enhance immersiveness in VR and support tactile communication in different form or digital interactions. Pure pressure haptics often use pneumatic system with flexible airbags to bring pressure information to the body. Thermal haptics are developed based on peritier devices, fans, hydraulic systems to bring different temperatures. Thermodule attach the peritier blocks to watch bands and the thermal glove use peritier strips on the fingers. Four fans are worn on the wrist to cool down the skin in watchback tactile display. Multimodal haptic feedback provides both pressure and thermal sensations. Patch is a hydraulic system that brings compression and thermal feedback based on the water temperature in a sleeve-worn device. Thermal cares use pneumatic system to produce pressure and the hydraulic system to produce thermal feedback. Both of the system has limitations on providing independent control on pressure and thermal feedback simultaneously over each pouch or airbag. Thus, we propose new mod, a wearable modular haptic device that can be simultaneously and independently present pressure and thermal cues, warm and cold, for different shape, shapes, locations, and patterns. New mod can be easily configured into sleeves, armbands, gloves, leg wraps, headbands, and other form factors. It enables users to feel the temperature of touch or other gestures over distance, or immersive haptic feedbacks in multiple VR applications. Here is a table of related research and differences from new mod. Feel free to check the full table in our paper. Our system includes three main parts. One, pneumatic hardware including air source and solenoid valve manifolds to provide fast inflation and deflation. Two, thermal pneumatic actuators that can be attached to multiple form factors like a fabric base. 3. Feedback control system including a design control board, an Arduino, sensors, firmware, and a user interface. Here's the detailed design of a thermal pneumatic actuator. From top to bottom, there is a thermistor to measure the temperature, a Peltier device to provide thermal feedback, a silicon top cover and silicon bottom cover for the air chamber, a full sensor to measure the pressure applied on the skin, and the Velcro tape to secure the actuator and provide modularity. Here are the fabrication process and fabric, fabric sleeves. The figure on the left shows the fabrication process. In A, the silicon ear compartment is fabricated by pouring mixed silicon li liquid into 3D printer molds. Then the two parts and the tube are bonded using silicon glue. B shows the top view of an actuator with a thermistor and a force sensor, and C represents the actuator without any sensors. This video shows different activations from the actuator array. Single activation. Pattern activation. Feel effects. Here is an overview of the system and the user study setup. Putting a new mod device on the forearm.
We also designed different form factors. All actuators can be attached to a single sleeve shown in the previous slides. With the advantage of the compact actuator design, it is effortless to attach one or more of them to multiple parts of the body. For locations like wrist, arm, chest, forehead, calf, or ankle, actuators can be attached to bands and wore on the body like demonstrated in the right figure. There are two actuators on the chest band and can be used to mimic being hit on the chest. There is one actuator on each wristband and one actuator on the forehead. We also did a user study on how users recognize single bubble activations, patterns of activations, and rating for different level of field effects using the sleeve form factor. We hope to present more details about the study in the near future. We have built three applications to demonstrate how new mod can be worn and used in VR remote touch and gaming. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to ask any questions.